Hello! Welcome back to another episode of Urbex. Today I'm here in Anderson Township, Ohio. We have a Tuesday morning back here that is closing and going out of business. Um, I lost my local Tuesday morning a few years back. It's now a boot barn, but we're going to check out this closing cell. There's also a Hallmark store back in here um, that is closing. It's pretty much um, empty right now. It's not open because it's Sunday, but I was going to show you that one as well, but unfortunately I can't. But let's go check out the Tuesday morning. So this is that Hallmark store that I wanted to take a look at. Unfortunately, because it's Sunday and it's so far along in its closing sale, it just wasn't open today. In fact, it may already be permanently closed. If you're unfamiliar with what a Tuesday morning is, it's a very basic bargain discount store, kind of like a TJ Maxx, just on a smaller scale, and it was started in 1974. Now, I had thought Tuesday mornings closed down all of their stores a few years back when the one right down the road from me closed, but apparently not. They filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy and only closed some of their stores. They currently operate 490 stores, but that's about to be cut in half because in early February of 2023, they filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy again and announced that they would be closing half their locations. If you'd like me to do an episode going over the history of Tuesday morning, leave a comment down below and give the video a like. If I get enough interest, I'll definitely make an episode on its history. But for now, I'm going to take you through this location as well as one other location in the Cincinnati metro area, and you're going to be able to hear all my thoughts and opinions on this store. It's just a rag rug. Um, that almost looks like just like wads of your... Um, tissue paper. Not tissue paper. What are those? Handy wipes. It looks like handy wipes shredded up into a rug because see the, the texture of them. Yeah, well, it is. It's some kind of a handy wipe. Because <laughs> that's, look, that's, see the, yeah, the it's like hole? a handy wipe rug that's weird, see? Yeah. Huh. What? You don't ever see anything Brookstone anymore. That's kind of cool to see. Didn't Brookstone go out of business? No, they're still in business. They just don't have physical stores anymore unless you're at an airport. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is all the, like dish tools and stuff dish tools why did i say dish tools oh look at these these are like emoji chip clips that's kind of cool Ooh, these straws are kind of cool looking silicone rainbow straws they got a nice selection of um kitchen utensils that's what i meant to say oh now that's cool it's like a pasta scoop but it's like a strainer built into the that's a cool idea i like that for six dollars and 59 cents not a bad deal they got some nice kitchen utensils at really good prices and they're all 10 percent off so here's a look at some of their bath towels and accessories they've got these really nice izod towels for 19.99 and i like how it's got the little izod logo in it nice blue color there's um this red color that you can get. Oh, they've even got Laura Ashley towels, but here's the the red version. Now heading back through the kitchen section where you can get all kinds of cutting boards. Wow, beautiful wood cutting boards. I don't know how I feel about wood cutting boards. Oh my, it's a historic day here on the channel. We have found towels that don't have loops where you catch all your rings on it and then they snag up and look like crap after two days or two times of using yes, not like yeah these. these are the loopy ones where <laughs> the I'm, loopy ones i'm sure if i could find one they've got the little stupid snags in them these. and you yeah, can snag them easily loopy yeah man oh wow these are i like these yeah those are the great in your bathroom once we redo it yeah once we get rid of that gross old lady wallpaper ew Wow, plenty of luggage also at 10% off. Ooh, I kind of like this black one. It's got it's like all hearts. the- I know, it's just kind of different and cool looking. Uh-huh, a guy- I, I would yeah. never have it. I'm just saying I like that it's different uh -huh. looking. Jeez. Here's the pet section. Yeah, we're in the pet section. Oh boy, you guys, look at all the puzzles. Ooh, they have these. The ones where they're like animals shape. I am eagle. I don't have that one. 
but this is only a 300 piece one. That's some really nice puzzles here. All at 10% off. Oh, here's the wolf one. The I am wolf. That's cool. Yeah, what's this one? Frank Lloyd Wright houses? That's something I've never seen. No. Okie dokie. I would pick out four. Wait, what? Like. Yeah. No. No. What? Oh, yeah. ten ninety nine. They're throwaway. There's our new silverware. Absolutely not. You're going to put that in the dishwasher and it's going to go kaflooey. No. But they are nice for like, yeah, this is all your party silverware. Look at those. Look like they're real metal forks and spoons, but they're not. That's cool. And we have more kitchenware cups and glasses. Ooh, this thing looks cool. It's like gold. Really? I like it. That looks it's cool. Amber. It's got like um, trees, trees on it. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? I do. Would that look stupid with my cut crystal? Yes, it would because your cut crystal are way fancier. Well, they're goblets too. Yeah. See, I was looking at this basket, maybe thinking that it'd be good for CDs on the shelf. Yeah, well, we can't afford it. You know, please support us because we can't afford a $10 item. <laughs> At 10% off. She couldn't even figure out what the price was. Because it's upside down. Uh, yeah. You you're, doofus. Oh, yeah, it is upside down. Yes. <laughs> I am not that loony. <laughs> no, but we both are put combined. Uh-huh. <laughs> now we're over here in the Price Hill area of Cincinnati. There's another Tuesday morning that's going out of business here. There are uh, three in total that are going out of business in the Cincinnati area, including the one that's over in Kentucky, and we're going to go check out this closing sale right now. So there is your Tuesday morning. I kind of like the look of this one. It's kind of nice, but this area is, um, I don't know, not the greatest area economically. But we're going to check this out and see what awesome goodies they might have. You can see the store closing banners in the window. You're doing so good today. Look at those. The what? I would love to have three of these. Uh-oh, crazy old lady plant style. <laughs> Your fake plants. I don't know, I'm not into fake plants, but they only have one of them. I don't know, leave a comment down below. Do you like fake plants or are you against fake plants? I'm not really a fan of them. I'd rather have a real one. How much is this? So yeah, th this is their selection of fake plants. Spooked? The what? What did you do? Well, my hair all of a sudden just went oh, in my I, face. I didn't get it. I don't know, they have a really nice selection of pillows, and I think these are like blankets or throws. Yeah, these are throws. Ooh, this is, I like the the color. It's like a navy, kind of a light navy. So here's a look at your puzzle selection. They got a ni lot of really nice puzzles. Some of these are like Ravensburg puzzles. What What is that? Oh, no, not Hello Kitty. Absolutely never. I hate that. Oh, Where's Waldo? I've never seen a Where's Waldo one. That's kind of cool. Oh, here we have all the, this is the, the bath and bedding. This is like all your towels. White. These are kind of interesting. They're like an off-white ivory cream well, kind of color. The what? No, it's, it's nice and clean. See, looking. I want a towel that's all this, this, and none of this loop crap. Give me this in the whole towel. Yeah. But and then, of course, we have all of our, like, um, international foods and little things. You got, like, your popcorn and your, I don't know, this is some alcoholic margarita mix stuff. Dies. Have you ever, guys, have you guys ever seen noodles that big? Those are huge. Look at these. These are like kind of crinkly. Corrugated. Yeah, they're corrugated like. Boxes. But then you can get these shells. Those are monstrous. Like two shells and you're full. <laughs> hey, Chris. 
All right, so this looks like it appears to be like all your beauty stuff. Look at some of this. What is this? This is soap, shea butter soap that's made in England. That is fancy. Oh boy, but it smells good too. Then you've got lotions and soaps, liquid soaps. Wait, I want to go down and look at some of the pet stuff. They have, they have a nice selection of pet stuff. Gee, this one has a nicer selection of kitchen utensils, like spoons and knives and silverware. I like the gold ones are kind of nice. Gee, they got a nice selection of pans. They even got calphalon. Why would you want stairs for your oh. So here we've got more glassware, thermoses. There's some, some mugs. So while looking through their selection of games, I found the Sari Rivals Edition. I have never heard of that before, and I love Sari. See, you gotta try it. No. And then everyone goes, yay, she did it! So here is the toy aisle decent selection of of toys yeah see my thoughts are that the uh prices here are already a little on the high side because what isn't this supposed to be like kind of like a tj maxx type thing and then um their sales are only 10 percent off you can see up here that they're 10 percent off which is which is nothing. not much of anything if you're buying something for like $8 and then you're getting like, what, 85 cents off or whatever it is. But we did find one thing. We did? Oh, yes, yeah, we, did. we found this is like a, a treat ball type thing and you can adjust the size of the hole to make it easier or harder or whatever. So that'll be kind of cool. Well, thanks. Now you're in my video going, I don't want to be a part of it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just an old lady having problems today. Well, then be in my outro. Come on. <laughs> so that was the Tuesday morning here near Price Hill, Chavoy, in the Cincinnati area. What are you doing? What showing, were your thoughts I'm on... I'm showing off my peacock. What's your thoughts on this store? What are my thoughts on this store? Too expensive. It was always too expensive. And for a store that's going out of business... Mm -hmm. Not they enough discounts. Have, they need to have 50, 75% discounts, not right. 10. Right. I mean, the whole company isn't going out of business, but this, um, a lot of their locations are closing. Many of them. Um, and I don't know, every time I shop here, I'm going, isn't this supposed to be like a TJ Maxx? It just kind of feels like a, a smaller TJ Maxx, and then the prices just don't match up to they it have anyways. Good, so good stuff, good products. Just yeah. They're yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, um, that's going to do it for today's episode. Check out all the links on screen or in the description box below, and I'll see you on another episode. Bye. Bye.